In a star system, because of the configuration, we find that the line current is equal to the phase current. And we find that the voltages are, the phase voltages on the three coils are all equal. So my voltage on phase one is equal to the voltage on phase two, and that is equal to the voltage on phase three. But now when we connect, if we think back, our three coils are like that. So these three voltages are the voltages that we are measuring across my three coils or three conductors. But the moment I connect my voltage across there, what in essence is happening is we are combining our voltage measurement from this point to that point. Now as these phases are all 120 degrees out of phase with each other. As they're all 120 degrees out of phase with each other. When I measure that distance or combine those two points there, that arrow represents my line voltage. Now if I draw it from phase 1 to phase 2, phase 2 to phase 3, I will get in a balanced system the exact same measurement. When I go and I measure this angle over there, I find that it is at 30 degree phase shift. So if I want to calculate my line voltage, I see that it is 2 phase voltages cos 30 degrees. Now when I calculate cos 30, I find it is equal to 2, sorry, 0, 0,866. I'm rounding up. If I multiply 0, 0,866 by 2, then I get 1,732. And if I square that value, then I find that it is equal to 3. So as a result, the line voltage is equal to the square root of 3 multiplied by my phase voltage. That is where this formula comes from. When I get to the delta configuration, again I find that there is a phase shift of 120 degrees between the three phases of my currents in delta. So this will be the current for phase 3, current for phase 1, current for phase 2. So if I apply the same logic as I did with the star, I find again there I've got a 30 degree phase shift. So if I calculate uh, IL, my line current, remember that's the current on two phases, my line current is equal to two phase currents that has a phase shift or an angle between them of 30 degrees. So if I calculate that, two times the phase current uh, times 0, 0,866 and that reverts back to the line current being square root of 3 times my phase current. Now the method in which we get these formulas is not important but the formula however is important. In my delta system there is an increase in my line current with comparison to my phase current and we also find that my line voltage is equal to my phase voltage in the delta configuration.